Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents tonight. Listen, I want to share a testimony with you. Sometimes people wonder, why do we follow the Lord? Um, There's, um, who was it that wrote this song? You may ask why I serve the Lord. Is it just for heaven's gain? Or to walk the mighty streets of gold? Or to hear the angels sing? Well, yeah, kind of, but let me tell you what God does for us right here on the face of this earth. Now, I'm going to start with basics. My basic, basic, basic need has always been to feel loved, to feel accepted, to feel approved of. And to have a sense of purpose, satisfaction, and fulfillment. Now, God blessed me with all of that. Added to that comes inner healing. He's done tremendous levels of inner healing in me. But now I'm going to talk about some of the material things that he has done for me. I am a widow, as you know. And I want to share this blessing with you, what God did for me. What God did for me was, number one, eight months ago, yours truly had a dream. And in that dream, this was a prophetic dream and I knew it. In this dream, I was driving a car down a main thoroughfare and let me tell you the feeling of freedom and and oh you know when you've been driving all your years it's a it's a major adjustment doing without a car but because of God's grace he made it easy for me so it wasn't like a major adjustment like it is most of the time. And let me tell you this, a friend of mine called me after I had this dream. And in this dream, I knew it was a car I had no car payments for. But I knew God had blessed me with a car. Now, my friend called me over a month ago to let me know God led her to purchase a new car. And she still had an old one. And she asked me if I would like to have it. And tonight, I drove that car home. And there are no car payments. Do you hear what I'm saying? All I had to do was put the money, whatever was needed for the registration. That was it. She even filled the gas tank for me. This was a friend that we have been best friends since 1981. She got saved in 1980. I got saved in 81. And we have been like sisters ever since. We had an immediate soul connection. She married off. I married off. But our friendship never went down the tubes. Anyway, I just want to share that with you. Another thing that a lot of you don't know, because see, there's a scripture that says, God will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. God knew I needed a recliner to sleep in. I shared it with you before. Knowing I needed a recliner from the in and out hospital visits I had during the months of April to the through the through the month of July almost August what God did he blessed me so much one of the youtubers one of you she has not given me permission to use her name sent me the money knowing I didn't have the money to purchase myself a recliner that is the seat I'm sitting in right now this is what I sleep in at night. And when I came home from the hospital, I had to sit up in a kitchen chair because I could not lay back and breathe at the same time. 
So I want to share with you, God is very much aware of what we need. He is a very present help in trouble. You hear me? He's with us in trouble. We're not alone in this thing. Here's another one. One of you YouTubers sent me a substantial amount of an offering. And do you know that is what I needed to pay for the registration? Now, that's for the car that was given. The blessing is, even though I am a widow on an extremely low income, God blesses me. There's another scripture that says, when you seek the Lord and his righteousness, all those other things will be added unto you. Do you hear what I'm saying? So seek first the kingdom and his righteousness. All the other things? Yeah, when you take care of God's business, he will take care of yours. You're not doing it for pay. I don't get paid for doing all these hours and months and years that I've done on YouTube. But God rewards when the need arises. He furnishes the need. Because I am working at propelling his kingdom. He works on fulfilling my needs. Now I'm not rich. If I were rich I wouldn't need. But because I'm a widow on a fixed income. It gets a little hairy at times when it comes to which bill gets paid this month. Who's going to have to wait till next month to get theirs? But God always comes through. And I'm telling you, when God comes first in your life, your needs come first in his. God bless you.